So Chris, why are you so excited about Google Wave? Because if I'm reading the developer documents right, which could be wrong, the way it's architected means that it provides survivability to services that don't have any survivability right now. A federated data store, which is what Wave is, is XMPP, a federated XMPP, which is Jabber protocol, inside individual service, just like your email server, but with everything together, means that if Twitter, the organization, goes away, as long as Twitter applications exist in Wave, you can still keep tweeting. Twitter's gone, it blew up, you know, somebody dropped a bomb on it or whatever, but the Wave instance allows Twitter's protocol and culture to survive, which is just, it's, it's the same as email. You think about it, you cannot shut off email. The number of SMTP servers around the world, and the way DNS works and stuff, means that you, you cannot turn off email. No company, no country can shut down email. Theoretically, you could take out DNS, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, mood servers. Yeah, you could take all facing mood servers, but that'd be a, a lot of work. Um, but Wave is going to provide the same thing for any social network. I mean, the other thing that's really cool is that the way they structure Wave is synchronous XML means that if you write an application as a developer for Wave to talk to Twitter, for example, you don't have to write for Twitter anymore. You write for Wave. But it also means your application theoretically, and again, this is just going through the developer docs, your application can talk to Facebook, can talk to LinkedIn, can talk to all this stuff, and you don't have to write for them. You just write for Wave. 